In this tutorial, you will learn how to use tools provided by IPMS to analyze data for counties and cities using the American Community Survey Public Use Microdata Files. Due to population thresholds, counties and cities are not directly available in the PUMS data files. Instead, the smallest geographic units available are Public Use Microdata Areas, or PUMAs. PUMAs are statistical geographical areas with at least 100,000 people. They are nested within states and are drawn using census tract and county lines. This means that many large counties and cities, those with at least 100,000 people, can be reconstructed using PUMAs. For example, using the 2010 PUMA boundaries, the city of Baltimore, Maryland is broken up into five PUMAs, 801, 802, 803, 804, and 805. By combining these PUMAs together, you can collect data for Baltimore, Maryland. IPMS has created a spreadsheet that lists all the counties that can be identified, and IPMS has added county and city identifiers to the PUMS data files wherever possible. To find the spreadsheet that lists all the available counties, begin at the IPMS USA homepage. Under Documentation, click on Variables. Then select Household Geographic. Under the list of variable names, click on County. This page describes the county variables that IPMS created. Scroll down to Excel Spreadsheet and click on the link to download the spreadsheet with the list of counties that can be identified in the PUMS data files. In addition to listing available counties, the spreadsheet provides information that you'll need to analyze county-level data, such as the state FIPS code, the county FIPS code, and the available samples. Say you're interested in analyzing data for Montgomery County, Maryland, and Baltimore City, Maryland. In the spreadsheet, scroll down to Maryland to see if Montgomery County and Baltimore City are listed, and they are. Then take note of the state FIPS code. For Maryland, the state FIPS code is 24 and the County FIPS code is 31 for Montgomery County and 510 for Baltimore City. Also take note of the samples that are available. Now that we know data are available for these two areas and we have the State FIPS and County FIPS codes, we can move to analyzing data using the online data analysis system. We're going to create a table that compares young adults employment status in Montgomery County to Baltimore City using 2012 to 2016 five-year ACS PUMS data. First, add the variable for employment status, EMPSTAT, to the rows of the table. Next, add the counties to the columns of the table. From the spreadsheet, we know that the variable for county is County FIPS, and we know that Montgomery County is code 31, and Baltimore City is 510. You can use this information to create clearly labeled columns using a recode statement. All sub-state geographic areas must be used in conjunction with a state identifier. Add the state FIP variable to the selection filter box, and filter the data so it only includes Maryland, State FIPS code 24. Since we only want to look at data for young adults, add an age filter as well. Finally, since this is a person level analysis, check that per weight is selected, and then percentage the table in the desired direction, columns in this case. Then run the table. The table shows that 60% of all young adults in Montgomery County, Maryland are employed, as compared to 46% in Baltimore City. And there you have one way of creating a custom tabulation of county-level ACS data using the IPMS online data analysis system.